Hi, my name is Rosalind Bell and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to social media and digital life skills, I'm going to show you the skills you need to help you navigate your way through and find all it has to offer. This video is called the Apple App Store on iPhone and iPad and in this video I'm going to show you how to download new apps that you might like to try on your phone, maybe a friend's recommended to you. I'm going to show you how to search for an app and download it onto your own phone so that you could try it and test it and see if you like it. You will also get recommendations from your friends and family that you might like to try. So at the end of this video you're going to feel completely confident being able to download an app for yourself, test it out and see if it fits into your everyday life and might be useful to you. So let's move over to my phone now and I'll show you how we do it. So from the home screen we're going to click on the icon which is blue with a big A in it for the Apple App Store. And this is just going to show you some varying different things that Apple have put up today that they think that we might be interested in. Game of the day, what's playing, what's popular, etc. The next button along is for games. So if you're a gamer or you're looking for new games to play on your phone, you can download the latest and most popular app from here. Now if we go into Arcade, you can see this is Apple's own game app. You can download this for free for a month and I think the monthly subscription is £4.99. So you can scroll through here and play any game that you like from Apple. Now if we click on the middle one at the bottom which is the apps, this will show us what Apple is recommending to us, what is trending at the moment, what is new, and also we'll select some top categories for us. So if we click on health and fitness, again it will show us what's new, what's trending and what's most popular. It will also show us the ones that are the top paid ones and the top free apps. So if we find an app that we like, we can click on it and we can go and see further more about what that application is all about. So if we click on to car, which is the most popular, we can see some screenshots of what the app might potentially offer us. So some of these apps you do pay for and the, the price range is from sort of 50p to £5 but this car map is free and you'll see that there are other purchases inside the app that need to be paid for but just for the standard app it's going to come for free. So here you could click the get button or you could actually go into the app and click the get button from here. So once you've hit that button, you'll see it's asking you for your ID. And the, where the get button was, you'll see it's turned into a little circle and it will start downloading. Once that's done, you can go to your home page and you'll see the app's been downloaded there and you can click on it and go into the new app. Now if we click on the search button at the bottom right, we can also search for our own category. So if I type in here social media, it will search through all the apps and find me anything to do with social media. So it's going to find me Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, all the usual ones you'd expect to find under social media. Now also from the search menu, you can type in the name of an app if you know what it's called. Now a friend of mine told me about this one called City Mapper. If you're into travelling, then this is the one you're probably going to need. If you click into it and scroll down, it will show you everything that the app will offer you. It will tell you that if you put your location in and where you want to go, it will draw you a map and help you get from A to B. So this is probably a really handy one for any of those who want to travel. Scrolling down the app even further, it will delve into more details about the app so you can decide whether you definitely want to download it or not. And finally, if you want to do a really generic search, say you want to search for fashion, you're looking for some inspiration from some fashion apps, if you click on here, it'll give you some inspiration. Scroll down and have a look at any of these apps that you might like to investigate further. So now if we come out of the search option and we go into the little picture at the top right, we can look at our own personal account. Now here we can redeem our gift card. If we've been lucky enough to receive a gift card, we 
we can go here and use the camera to scan in the code that we've been given and then it will update your app with the um, amount that you're redeeming from the card. Now also from our account from the same screen we can see there it says update all so these are apps on my phone that I need to update because they haven't got the latest version and all the ones below you can see have all been updated. So if you need to update any apps this is where you need to go and just click the update button and it will go through and update all your apps to make sure you've got the latest version running. I hope you found this video useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up down below. And I'd love you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also hit the notification bell so you'll receive a notification when I've uploaded another video to YouTube for you to watch and learn with me. So thanks again for watching and until next time, bye.